as we say hello to our Premier League insider, David Ornstein. David, let's run through what happened this week. On Tuesday, Forrest, they sack Steve Cooper. The next day, they appoint Nuno to be the new manager. Uh, it's not like Steve Cooper didn't have success there. He was very much well-liked, liked especially amongst their fans. Why do you think they made this move now to sack him? Yeah, Paul, it is a really big gamble by Nottingham Forest because Steve Cooper is a fantastic manager, a really good person, as you can see by the reaction of all of the Nottingham Forest players virtually on social media. Uh, he was revered by the supporters at the city ground. And also Nuno Espirito Santo is uh, somebody who's going to have to prove a lot. I think ultimately for the owner, Evangelos Maranakis, who is an extremely hard man to please, he simply ran out of patience. You're looking at a team here who are just one place above the relegation zone. They've lost five of their last six matches, won just one of their last 13. And that is a long way off where Maranakis will expect Nottingham Forest to be for his investment since coming up to the Premier League about 250 million pounds. Now, he is an extremely difficult person to work with. I think he might even admit himself. And Steve Cooper has found that. He's come under pressure at times. A year ago, when there was real scrutiny over his job, he was actually given a new contract. And Maranakis will, show, will say, I made the right decisions. I showed faith in him. But it was pretty awkward. There were so many signings that Steve Cooper was having to work with, many of those that he didn't have a great deal of involvement in. There were so many staff changes on the sporting side and on the executive side as well. And constantly there were rumours that Maranakis was looking at different managers behind his back. And so it was never a comfortable state of affairs for Steve Cooper. And ultimately, the results just went against him. You could say this was, in the end, a, a decision that may have been OK with all parties. And Steve Cooper, some will argue, is better off out of there. This is a manager who is extremely highly rated elsewhere. He's already being linked with clubs such as Crystal Palace, who you'll be watching tonight, as and when Roy Hodgson moves aside from the job this summer at the latest, you'd imagine. The England setup thinks very highly of him. He did well with the England youth rank. But the baton passes on to Nuno Espirito Santo, who was actually flying over when these reports were breaking and Steve Cooper didn't know anything at that point. Um, he was in the building when Steve Cooper was leaving. There was a handshake with Maranakis, but the news was delivered by Ross Wilson, the uh, chief football officer. Uh, the jury is out. Nuno Espirito Santo is going to have to prove how it ended at Wolves, how it went at Tottenham, how it went at Al Ittihad in Saudi Arabia is not how it's going to go at Nottingham Forest. A lot of faith is being put in him by Maranakis. He will have to get the supporters on side. They may do some business in the January transfer window. There is a link between his agent, George Mendes, and Maranakis, and so that perhaps helped him get the job over Yulan Lopetegui, over Oliver Glasner. But he does have pedigree. He spoke well in his news conference, and Maranakis will hope he delivers it in a way that he felt Cooper didn't in the end. He'll take over Nottingham Forest right now in 17th place. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.